uh, once again welcome to my youtube channel maths with is by Vita Kamotho. and in this video i want us to understand uh, example 11 of algebra 10 where we have an equation x plus 2 equals to 8 over x it has the left hand side and the right hand side which are equal and again we would want to treat this one as uh, two equal fractions where we write on the left hand side we have x plus 2 it could it is naturally over 1 which is basically equals to 8 over x and of course when we have two equal fractions we have all the permission to cross multiply and uh, after doing this we are going to have x multiplied by x plus 2 which is equals to 8 times 1 which is 8 at that point, we open up this bracket to give us x squared plus 2x, which is equals to 8. And this one is going to be a quadratic equation. And for us to solve any quadratic equation, it has to be equals to 0. So we have to bring 8 across and we have x squared plus 2x minus 8, which is now equals to 0. This being a quadratic equation, we can solve it through factorization um, whereby we can establish the value of B and the value of C and remember not all quadratic equations can be solved this way. Later on we are going to find some equations that cannot be just factorized. Our B is 2 and our AC is minus 8. Two numbers we multiply, they give us minus 8, and two numbers we add, they give us a plus 2. And this is 4 and negative 2. Now we substitute the middle term uh, with these two factors, x squared plus 4x minus 2x minus 8 is equals to 0. So factoring out the first two terms, x x plus 4 minus 2 x minus 8 divided by minus 2 is plus 4 and again the whole of that is equals to 0 so we have x plus 4 x minus 2 being equals to 0 and we have always said these are two numbers multiplied together in the product is 0 it either means one of them is 0 and if this is case the case then if this bracket is the one which is equals to 0 as shown here, then is x is equals to negative 4. Or the other bracket could be the one which is equals to 0. If this is true, then x is equals to positive 2. And those are two possible values of x as far as that question is concerned. Thank you and let us meet in the next video.